Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I turned $28 into over $500 selling easy to find items that are cheap on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All of these items sold on eBay for $35 or less. I call these my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that I buy low and sell for a profit. Thanks for being here and let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So the first item I sold are these magnets. This is a huge lot of refrigerator or whatever magnets. And it's just a hodgepodge of magnets. I got these at the Goodwill bins. And I just, I think they were already in a bag and I just grabbed them all. So I may have had like um, three, four dollars in this. And I ended up selling these for a best offer of $31 plus shipping. So do these magnets sell? Yes. Most of these were vintage. Definitely, definitely look these up if you see them. All right. This one right here is a replacement train track from 1996. This is the Tyco Sesame Street Elmo's Radio Control Railroad. This is something that I parted out. I actually had two of these. They came in a thrift store mystery box and it was incomplete. And I said, you know what? I can make money on this. And it is more of a long tail item. The first one sold quicker than the second one, but I still have quite a few pieces that are just sitting in my store. So when you do replacement parts, they are long tail typically, unless you get lucky and somebody's just looking for that part. Um, Cost of goods was probably less than a dollar, and I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. These are the Grocery Gang. They're moose toys, and I think they're like those surprise mystery um, blind bag things. Uh, 12 of them here. This is what they look like. They're like little monsters. I got these out of the Goodwill bins, and I sold these for $16.25 plus shipping. Now, I will tell you, sometimes certain ones are rare and harder to find, and people will pay up for them individually. I did not look each one of these up individually. I'm sorry, but I just did not have the time, so I just put them in a lot. This here is a vintage antique baby photograph, black and white photo, large oval, no frame. It does have like some condition issues and it's pretty big. I got this at a garage sale with another photo and I paid about $4 for both. So $2 in this took a best offer of $32.50. The next item are these safety pin, um, they're quilters pins and they're, most of them are brass and some of them are steel. I almost just donated these and I'm like, you know what? I need to try to list these. And I will tell you, they flew out of my store. Now I sold them pretty cheap. I sold them for a best offer of $11 plus shipping, but my cost of goods was next to nothing for those. These are the Fisher Price Little People Noah's Ark figures. And there's 31 of them here. Check it out. Now these are in played with condition and there's three turtles and only one elephant. So it's not like perfect, but uh, they are definitely replacements. I got these at a thrift store for $6 and I sold them for best offer of 30 plus shipping. This right here came out of the Goodwill bins and I didn't know it was a dog toy when I got it, but I got it home and I squeezed it and it squeaked and I'm like, it's a dog toy. And I couldn't find another one like it. So I priced it kind of high, I felt like, because it's not very big. I mean, this guy is like not, it's, it's small. So it's for a smaller dog. And this sold really quick for $14.30 plus shipping. So that one was kind of a surprise. I always pick these up. These are PBC International. Um, it's a bunny. And they sing, and I don't know if this one actually has, I don't think its mouth moves. No, the mouth does not move on this one, but a lot of times the mouth will move and sometimes the head will move, but uh, they play music. And this one I got at a garage sale for 50 cents, took a best offer of $30 plus shipping. And usually I put a video, but because it didn't work, I didn't. And it's got I just, I show the tag, you know, it's got $19.99 on it. That's okay. You can still sell it for more than what the tag says. 
Uh, 30 bucks on that. The next item are these Thomas the Train and Friends talking and light up die cast. What I did is I made sure that I showed that they worked and all of the ones that lit up, I put in a lot and these will demand a little more extra money. I can't remember where I got these. I buy these at garage sales and I just pick them up and I usually get them really cheap, but I sold these for $25 plus shipping. The next item was not a good buy. Um, I got these at a thrift store and I paid $1.25 for it. So that's paying up for me. But it did say $1.25. And I did a video showing how I got the marker off of this. It had black marker that said $1.25. If you take a black dry erase marker and go over it and then wipe it, that will take that right off. Okay. Uh, so I did get a video out of it also. I sold this for $9.75 plus shipping. So not a horrible buy, but you know, something like this I would usually pay 50 cents for. This is a Jack Dempsey stamped white nursery quilt blocks. I got a whole bunch of these listed. This one sold pretty quickly. Um, they haven't been up too long. So um, I do have quite a few left. Probably got a dollar or less in this. Sold it for $13 plus shipping. This is a vintage, uh, not vintage, I'm sorry. It's a girl's toy box. Um, it's just a bunch of hodgepodge of toys. And I just throw them in a pile and take a picture and let somebody else do the work. So this is either for somebody who wants to resell the items, somebody who just wants to buy like a little mystery box for their kid to go through and just have fun playing with. I don't know. I call it a toy box. I ended up taking a best offer of $35 on this plus shipping. It's hard for me to do this because I like to part things out, but sometimes I just get overwhelmed and I'm like, forget it. I'm just throwing it in a lot. <laughs> uh, this here sold really quick. It is a... Miani Aurora Chihuahua. And I think anytime you have a dog that looks like a, someone's dog, it's going to sell quickly. I probably could have sold this for more, but I got it at the Goodwill Benz. It was super cheap and I sold it for $18 plus shipping. My Goodwill Benz is $1.89 a pound. If you want to see me digging for items like this at the Goodwill Benz, I have a whole bunch of videos where I take you into the store and I let you guys watch me dig. And you can tell me everything I missed in the video. I love it when you guys do that. But that was from the bins. This is a Heartland Valley Village Deluxe Porcelain Carriage Christmas Sleigh Horse Ride. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. And I sold it for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. This is a Willow Tree uh, Single Baby Susan Lordy 2007 by Dim... Dim... Uh, Dim... Dim... I can never say that word. Dimdico, Dimcado, Dim, I don't know, whatever that is. Um, but all that information is written on the item. And this sold really fast. And I sold it for 50, uh, I'm sorry, I bought it for 50 cents and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. I almost just donated it. And I'm like, you know what? Somebody might want this. It's a math trekker addition subtraction by educational insights handheld game. I did pop it up to show that it worked um, just with different photos of doing different actions. And I sold this for $7 plus shipping. So that one was a nice surprise. This came out of my free plush. Um, a viewer reached out to me, needed plush gone. She needed it gone the next day, said if I could come get it the next day, it was mine for free. Um, so I went and got it. And I sold this for $19.50 plus shipping. It's a pineapple yellow plush stuffed animal by Fiesta with original tag and that sold really quick. And I will link her eBay store down in the description for you guys to check out. This is a Hallmark 2011 music ornament rocking around the Christmas tree guitar. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $18 plus shipping. This here is a vintage Snoopy from 1958 made in Japan. And it says it on the bottom here. I got this at the Goodwill for $1. Took a best offer of 20. Or, no, I'm sorry. This sold for my sale price. Of $23.56 plus shipping, you can see it does have condition issues or I would have been able to get more money for that. Um, buyer was all in for $31.57 on that. This next item is a Disney Tinkerbell removable charm bracelet. I got this out of the bulk by 300 and I think 44 pounds of jewelry that I bought on eBay. There's a whole story behind that. It was a couple years ago, um, but you can go back into my old videos if you want to see a bunch of jewelry unboxings. 
a lot of fun, just an amazing story. But you can see the video where I actually weigh how much I got. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. I still have a bunch I haven't even gone through. $12.40 is what I sold this for plus shipping. This here came out of a thrift store mystery box. It's Toby the Turtle and it's an it holds a bottle and it's a, like an insulator, I guess. I don't know, but it was new with tags. So I decided to list it. I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping and probably a dollar or less than that. This is a vintage Garfield that my husband picked up at a, a garage sale over the summer. He's like, they had so much vintage plush and he gave it all to me. And I'm like, all right, I'll list it for you. So um, he sold this uh, for $12.40 plus shipping and it's Garfield from 1981. And he's not in great shape. This is a Schleich Medieval Night Warhorse. And anything that is Schleich, this brand right here, I pick it up. And these do range, but they are usually realistic looking animals that are made of hard plastic. And they do really well. I sold this one for $10 on best offer. And the buyer was all in for $17.80 for this horse. And let me see, here's the brand you can see right here. This is what it looks like. This one's from 2003. And I got this at the Goodwill bins. This is um, from a Ninja Turtles secret sewer layer replacement part. So I bought this Ninja Turtle set and I built the stupid thing because they go for stupid money if they're built. At least they did at the time when I parted this out. And I was like, this is awesome. And I'm going to sell this for big money. I got it for five bucks. And I got it built. I had to use YouTube to build it. So I'm watching a YouTube video. I'm pausing it and starting it, building this play set. And I ended up having to take it apart and part it out, which is kind of hilarious. And this is the second one I've done this with. I can't remember if I built the second one or just the first one. But um, I would pick these up again. Uh, it does take some time to part it out, but I just... I, I've sold so many pieces out of it and it adds up so quickly. I just sold another piece tonight. Um, but this right here is from 2012. It is the binoculars and they sold for, um, actually they bought three pieces from me. They bought this one, the binoculars, the tire swing, this piece right here, whatever it is of the platform and this right here, the sliding door. And they were all in for $35.68 plus shipping for those items. So definitely adds up quickly. I made more parting it out, I think. This one sold super fast. It's from the Broadway musical Wicked. It's a flying monkey. And it was even, um, the wings were supposed to be attached and they weren't attached. So I just disclosed that. And it still sold super fast. Got it at the Goodwill Benz. Took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a Lego Bionicle. It's 8563. I used Google Lens to figure that out. It is incomplete for replacement parts. Sold as is. Sold it for $7.44 plus shipping. The next item are these Betsy Johnson. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Betsy Johnson Frenchie Stud Earrings. And they're in the original box. I got this at a garage sale for $1, took a best offer of, I'm, I'm sorry, sold it for sale price of $12.40 plus shipping. Um, I had it listed at 20 and I had a 38% sale going at the time. And the buyer paid shipping on that. This is a Disney Store Winnie the Pooh Eeyore mini bean bag. And this one came from a viewer and I am completely drawing a blank on her store. Um... She sent me a box. I'm going to do an unboxing. It will be linked there. And I will also link it down below. But it's one of those hard ones to remember. It's like three letters. Um, I think it's M something treasures or something like that. But anyway, I will link it down in the description. But she sent me a nice little box of plush as a gift. And I will have an unboxing on that. This is one of the items that was in there. And I sold this for $7.44 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $13.70. It is a Disney Store Winnie the Pooh Eeyore mini plush bean bag. The next item is this Susan Bishop Village Green Sampler Country Stitching Cross Stitch Kit. And I got this at a estate clean out and I sold this for $21.70 plus shipping. 
This is a Mega Bloks uh, 9301 is the set. It is a harder to find set. It is a Plantoids Repsilian Battleship. And this is just the instructions and some of the stickers are missing. So you can see here, this is what's left. And I uh, put the instructions with it and the stickers and sold those separately. I parted it out. So the figures I sold separate and then the blocks I sold separately also. Uh, I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. If you've been here a while, let me know how you found the channel. Thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment. And if you want to share it out, that would be awesome also. And thanks for watching.